Hey everyone, I'm Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and you can probably notice that I'm not in my usual studio setup. I'm actually at an event in London with Western Digital and their WD sub-brand. So what essentially we have today is a new drive that's coming out. So this is the WD Black SN750. So let's talk about capacities to start with. Now, WD believe that um, when it comes to gaming, there's going to be a much sort of higher need for large capacities. Now, when we've seen NVMe drives in the past, we've seen everything from kind of 128 gigabytes up to about one terabyte. Now, what WD have actually done is they've decided, well, there's no real need for that low capacity. So what this drive is going to do is start at 250 gigabytes and go all the way up to two terabytes. And when you look at you know Steam surveys and other game surveys like that, you can actually see that a lot of games now, sort of the latest and greatest, are coming in at around 100 gigabytes in size. So you think if you only had a 128 uh, gigabyte SSD, then you're going to be kind of restricted to, well, essentially one game plus your installed Windows. Two terabyte is obviously becoming a lot more affordable now. So WD have kind of made that plunge to sort of move things about a little bit and focus on what gamers actually really want. Now, yes, this drive is branded at gamers, but it's not particularly just for gamers. For professionals, even like myself, who does kind of 4K video editing and stuff like that, obviously I need a super fast drive, like an NVMe WD Black. So what we've actually got there is the ability to kind of market something towards gamers, but when it comes to professionals, they can simply just look at the specifications. So they can be looking at the blistering fast speeds, which we will get to in a little bit. Now, other elements of this drive I want to talk about is the fact that there is actually going to be two different SKUs for every capacity. So essentially what we have is the bare naked drive, which is going to be suitable for most people who just kind of want an, a, a fast drive, but aren't going to be sort of, you know, really pushing the boundaries uh, to its limits. Whereas those who are doing that, people who are going to be doing, you know, extreme gaming or even those who are maybe doing 4K video production and are going to be doing long sessions of rendering, there's another model that actually comes with an included heatsink. Now this heatsink is actually made in collaboration with EK. So what WD did was they kind of went out, put the feelers out there to see who could make the very best heatsink. And it turned out that EK were the ones who kind of came to the rescue with that. Now, what this actually means is that by generating um, heat that then gets dissipated into the heatsink, it actually allows you to kind of get the faster speeds for a much more kind of sustained longevity. So what we're actually talking about is, depending on the capacities, there's speeds of up to 3,450 megabytes a second uh, on the read speeds and 3,000 megabytes per second on the write speed. Now this is actually uh, quite a big difference between the original WD Black Drive that came out in 2017 and then the refresh drive in 2018. So what they've actually done is they've managed to kind of tweak the firmware using the same controller and the same 3D NAND that they used on the 2018 edition. But by tweaking the firmware, they've been able to actually push the speeds up that little bit more. So if you are gaming and you have the heatsink version, what you're going to be able to do is actually get them speeds for a much more kind of sustained length of time. This is going to be perfect because you obviously don't want any bottleneck in your system, especially when it comes to gaming. So you're not going to want to sort of, you know, see a drop in frame rates because I don't know, maybe your driver has actually you know, lost some speed. The WD Black uh, SN750 is actually you know, really kind of catering for that kind of scenario, I guess you could call it. Now, as I mentioned, the capacities of this drive are going to come in from 250 gigabytes all the way up to two terabytes. Now, obviously, when it comes to SMRPs and RRPs, they are just a recommended retail price. When it actually comes to hitting the market in retail stores, Yes, pricing may be a little bit different and it's going to obviously depend on your, the country that you're actually buying the drive in. So when we're looking at the 250 gigabyte drive, we're going to be looking at around 79.99 US dollars plus taxes and shipping. When it comes to the two terabyte drive, we're going to be looking at 499.99 US dollars, again, plus taxes and shipping. Like I say, these are just MSRP prices, so expect them to fluctuate a little bit. And as we do know, the price of DRAM is coming down, which obviously has a knock-on effect to drives like the WD Black SN750. When it comes to availability, uh, I'm not sure if it's actually in retailers at the moment, but it should be coming out very, very soon. You should be able to get hold of this uh, from all your favorite stockists, no matter where you are in the world. Another key specification that people are going to care about, especially if you are doing sustained amounts of reading and writing, is going to be IOPS. So when it comes down to the random read IOPS, you're going to be looking at 515k. When you're looking at the random write IOPS, you're going to be looking at about 560,000. So you, you're going to see straight away that these numbers are not for the faint-hearted. So what WD have actually done is they've created a drive that is better than the last drive, is 
better than the competition. And as we always know with WD, they always try and stay competitive with their pricing. So we are expecting them prices to be very, very good. And I'm sure as they do like to team up with kind of retailers and doing promotions, we are going to see some really, really strong pricing on this particular device. Now, another thing when it comes to, like I said, the way that this is actually being marketed, kind of, you know, for gamers, uh, there is actually a software tool that WD have. Now, what this allows you to do is obviously, um, among the usual kind of state of affairs as to monitoring the drive, the temperatures, the speeds, the health of the drive and things like that, you can actually put it into a gaming mode. So what the gaming mode actually does is two things. Uh, as a gamer, what you essentially want is a drive that is going to have sustained performance for a long amount of time. So what you can do is enter into gaming mode and it will basically reduce the latency of the drive as well as eliminate the low power state. By eliminating the low power state, it means that it's not going to drop down in speed. It's going to keep that speed for as long as physically possible. So this is actually something we spoke to WD about and I made it very clear that I'm not a big fan of when uh, manufacturers put the word gaming onto a product and don't actually do anything that caters for gamers. Whereas what WD have actually done is they have branded it as a gaming drive, but they have actually implemented features that gamers are going to care about. Especially if you're doing things like competitive gaming, you're going to want them sustained speeds for the most amount, kind of the longest amount of time as you physically can. And by having these gaming features on it, it allows you to do just that. Especially if you're doing things like competitive gaming, where literally having that kill or not having that kill could lead to you winning a tournament and earning yourself a lot of money. Now, one thing we did actually ask WD was about the availability between the non heat sink version and the heat sink version. So, the non heat sink version, like this one here, is available to buy right now from all of your kind of favorite retailers. So, in the US, that's going to be Amazon, Newegg. In the UK, it's going to be Scan, eBuyer, and Amazon, uh, among you know, some of the other ones out there. Now, the version with the heat sink isn't available just yet. Uh, they are just kind of, you know, trying to get all the pricing and everything uh, correct because they obviously want to give people value for money. Like I say, WD are always kind of really passionate about having aggressive pricing, but uh, obviously that all comes down to planning and strategy. So we're going to be looking at the heat sink version with that EK heat sink on there, probably being available sort of beginning to middle of March. So it's going to be really interesting to kind of see, I guess, if we test both of these, how that heat sink actually, you know, relates to kind of the real world and what we're able to actually get out of it in terms of that sustained performance. When it comes to obviously the difference between the heat sink version and the non heat sink version, we're not actually sure on the kind of difference in pricing at the moment. But like I say, WD are really, really passionate about being aggressive on pricing. So we're expecting not too much more for the heat sink version. But you never know, I might be eating my words and uh, I may be completely wrong, but we will find out in due course. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know exactly what to do. And hopefully you enjoy this kind of event style coverage that we get. Apologies for all the crowd noise and everything going on, but obviously we're working with the tools that we are given. I will see you in the next video. Cheers guys, see you later, bye bye.